limited his pitches. I, you know, I probably should have told him earlier in the year you only have 75 pitches, and he would have gotten the eighth and ninth inning with 75. But um, you know, mix his pitches well, uh, and just went after people the way you know that you're used to seeing him do. But um, it just tells you what kind of competitor he is to be able to come out today and do what he did. What impressed you most about what he did on the mound? Just his uh, presence. You know, it didn't bother him that he hadn't been out there in a while and uh, has complete confidence in what he's doing. So, uh, you know, and then everything else follows suit. You know, the command of the pitches, the ability to uh, dissect the hitter when he needs to. He has a great feel for when to make pitches and, you know, what pitches to make at the right time. You mentioned the command pretty remarkable. He hasn't been on the mound since July 8th, didn't walk anybody, and I think there was only one or two three-ball counts. Yeah, no, he, he uh, you know, made good pitches early in counts. Uh, first thing, the fastball was a little uh, sprayed. They, it, they were in the zone, but not where he wanted them. But uh, after he settled down, uh, you know, he, he made some really good pitches. Larry, do you have peace of mind now, or do you want to wait to see how he comes in tomorrow? Well, I, I, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's a step in the right direction. Um, are we going to know fully until, you know, five years down the road? Probably not. But, um you know, it, it tells you that, um, you know, the due diligence as far as the games and everything, it's good to see that, uh, you know, he comes through and, and uh, has nothing afterwards. And, you know, there's a lot of pitchers in baseball that have probably similar things that are asymptomatic. So it's possible that he can get through this uh, for quite a while. Um, it's possible that it comes up and, and bites him and, you know, that's it. But... Um, you know, we're hopeful that uh, it's the earlier scenario and that he's going to be fine and have a nice long career with no no problems. Do you, just as precaution, have him take a scan the next day or two to see no. how it looks? No, no, absolutely not. I think you start, you know, you start analyzing every little bit. It doesn't do any good. It, if he's going to be okay, he'll be okay. If not, you know, we'll know and he's going to feel it and we'll we'll go from there. What told you early on that it was okay? His warm-ups were really good. I mean, he, you know, the sim games, the last one, the warm-ups were okay. But today there was a difference, and you could see it right away in the force uh, with which he threw the ball and the quickness to his arm. And um, all the things that you saw uh, before he went on the DL, uh, you know, warming up today, you could see it. Is that, is that game day adrenaline, Larry? Think? I think a lot of it. I, I think also the, um, the sim games, he kind of paced himself just to, you know, stick his toe in the water and see what it's going to be like. And then as he felt that it was going to be okay, he pushed it a little bit more. And then, you know, you could <clears throat> see the last thing in the last sim game that he pushed the envelope a lot, and he had no problems with that. And uh, today he just continued that. Which was this the pitcher that you saw earlier in the season? Mm, yeah, yeah, it was uh, very similar. I think, uh, you know, it was hard to tell if, if he was rusty at all, really. Um, but he has a really good way of composing himself and handling situations. And, uh, you know, just like he did the first game of the year when he, you know, he gave up the home run in the first inning and, you know, went about his business the rest of the day and ended up pitching well.